the best MREs. MREs, or meals ready to eat, often get a bad rap from military personnel, who often alternatively refer to them as meals rejected by everyone, meals rarely edible, or meals rejected by the enemy. But while there are certainly a few downright horrible MREs, they're not all that bad, with some even being considered to be culinary masterpieces. Chili Mac in 1995, one of the most popular MREs ever made was introduced to hungry American soldiers. The chili and macaroni is now a celebrated MRE, winning diners over with mouth-watering combinations of delicately soft elbow noodles, taco-flavored beef crumbles, and rich tomato sauce. Complementing this delicious main course is a host of additional treats that can include a salty kippered beef stick, a scrumptious slice of carrot cake, and a colorful pack of wild berry Skittles. Among the best of the goodies on offer is the cheese spread with jalapenos, a highly processed pot of joy that, if lathered over dry, tasteless crackers, transforms them into a toothsome feast that's washed down with a grape-flavored powdered drink reminiscent of Gatorade. The Chili Mac MRE is more than a ready meal, for anyone in possession of one holds in their hands the ultimate bargaining chip, the contents of which can be traded for just about anything one desires. Nowadays, it's considered so delicious, it can fetch anywhere between $20 to $80 online, with some ex-army personnel even maintaining their own private stashes. So if you ever get the chance to try an MRE, be sure to pick Chili Mac, for according to one veteran, military MREs suck overall, but the Chili Mac is life. Beware of the smelly after-effects, though. Beef Stew Tracing its origins back to the very first MRE menu issued in 1981, this exquisite example of military food technology typically contains a hearty beef dish, supplemented with carrots, corn, green beans, onions, potatoes, tomatoes, gravy, and a helping of white rice that can be optionally drizzled with lashings of fiery Tabasco sauce. This MRE is also perfect for those with a sweet tooth, featuring a wide array of sugary desserts such as strawberry jam, a muffin, a chocolate and banana cookie, and either a powdered juice drink or an exuberantly thick milkshake. A slab of peanut butter and a portion of chewy pretzel nuggets are among some of the more savory goodies on offer. The real genius of the beef stew MRE, however, is that its various accoutrements can be combined to create a smorgasbord of gastronomical wonders, with peanut butter and jam crackers and beef dip pretzels being among the most popular fusions. The creators of the beef stew MRE even thought about the post-meal phase, since there's also an accessory packet that has an instant coffee sachet as well as adequate amounts of toilet paper and towelettes, you know, to deal with any potentially messy consequences. This video is sponsored by the military game War Thunder, the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. War Thunder is now available right at your fingertips. Play with more than 2,000 incredibly detailed vehicles to choose from across 100 years of land, sea, and sky warfare. Crafted with an eye for accuracy and history, every vehicle is incredibly detailed, all the way down to their individual components, offering the most immersive experience on the market. Combine that with intense PvP battles across various immersion levels, there's something here for everybody, no matter what your playstyle is. This game appeals to me because I feel like I'm creating a story each time I play. The air, ground, and naval battles create these levels of complexity and uniqueness, so I know every battle will be different. This game ticks every box. Realism, fun, 4K textures, you name it. If I want to satisfy that historical itch, I can even take a look at every single part of my vehicle and see what the parts are labeled. It's that detailed. Join me on the battlefield, soldier, and let's create some stories together. To play War Thunder for free, on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Sign up now using the link in the description below and receive a massive free bonus pack, including a ton of premium vehicles, boosters, and access to a premium account model, and more. Norwegian Arctic Field Ration This NATO-approved field ration is simply a sumptuous banquet masquerading as an MRE that was first developed for the Norwegian Armed Forces and other Nordic military outfits by Norwegian company Drytech. This sizable food pack consists of 24 items, more at home on the menu of a fine dining restaurant that can be eaten as standalone meals. Starting off the day, the field ration provides a tantalizing selection of gourmet breakfast items such as blueberry and vanilla, berry and chocolate muesli, as well as two fruity porridge variants. For lunch, there's a flavorful catalog of options like creamy salmon with pasta, chicken with lentils and lime, kebab stew, and even a vegan chili stew. For dinner, one can chow down on chili con carne, pasta bolognese, pulled pork with rice, and Norwegian staples like cod and creamy curry sauce. 
The highlight, however, is undoubtedly the gamey reindeer stew with creamy potato and carrots from the 2016 edition. That's so good that the famous MRE reviewer Steve Thomas proclaimed, quote, I cannot stop eating it. This MRE is also jammed with energy drinks, chewing gum, coffee, and disinfectant swabs, making it the perfect support package for lengthy Arctic adventures. Make sure to keep it away from the polar bears, though. French Armed Forces 24-Hour Combat Ration Pack This MRE is surprisingly luxurious, since it's specifically tailored to satisfy the appetites of the world's premier fine dining nation. This is perhaps the classiest MRE of them all, providing the more sophisticated trooper with 3,600 calories of the finest foodstuffs over three meals and several snacks. Soldiers can either drink Arabica instant coffee or tea as they gobble down a breakfast of strawberry muesli, nougat, fruit, and plum jam. To quell mid-morning hunger pangs, gourmet sides such as venison, wild boar, and duck pate, as well as blue cheese can be liberally spread onto salty and sweet biscuits. For lunch and dinner, our two ready-cooked dishes of the highest quality chosen from a list of 14, including such culinary delights as beef tortellini, duck confit, cabanara, pistachio stuffed sausages, pork cheeks with ravioli, gizzards and quinoa salad, and Spanish paella. To top it all off, the French MRE contains a matchbox adorned with pictures of the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe, allowing the soldier trapped in a godforsaken hole somewhere to bask in the glory of France's greatest architectural achievements as they eat by candlelight. Buffalo Chicken The legendary MRE that had such an impact on the appetites and orifices of American servicemen during its original production run between 2009 to 2011. Packed tightly in this food packet is a bounty of enticing riches ranging from toffee cookies, Reese's chocolates and instant cappuccino, to stonewall classics such as jalapeno cheese bread and wheat snack bread. The buffalo chicken MRE, however, is most renowned for the tasty orange buffalo sauce that not only saturates the chicken wings and fried rice, but any post-meal waste product that emerges from the rear end. For although delicious, the buffalo chicken MRE certainly has a few explosive side effects. For example, one U.S. veteran has remarked, in reference to supporters of the NFL team the Buffalo Bills, that the effect on the stomach is, quote, like having 40 tailgating Bills fans making a mess of your insides, end quote. Accordingly, the same individual advises to, quote, dig the latrine before you crack this bad boy open, end quote. The Buffalo Chicken was discontinued in 2011, while an improved prototype was canceled in 2015, since the ration was more likely to loosen the bowels than bung them up, as is the goal of most other MREs. Janissary Rations Surveying the annals of history, it's almost impossible to come across an ancient, medieval, or even pre-modern army that was fed as well as troops are today. The one exception are the Janissaries, a band of elite warriors that served the Ottoman Empire from the late 14th century until 1826. These highly trained killers acted as the Sultan's personal bodyguard, which meant they always had to be in tip-top shape in case they were forced to defend their master. As such, their diets were superior in comparison to other soldiers of the time. Janissaries subsisted on daily generous hunks of freshly baked bread, or biscuits if bread was unavailable, that were eaten alongside a meat ration of approximately 200 grams, supplemented by honey, coffee, and rice, with bulgur and barley also issued to feed their horses. The Janissaries not only ate well, but were unique in that their organization drew heavily on food as a way to foster a spirit of comradeship within their ranks. The Janissary hat, for instance, was called a burk and was embellished with an ornament known as a spoon holder, which was meant to symbolize that all Janissaries were messmates. Furthermore, a Janissary who was in charge of a regiment was generally referred to as a chorbabashi, which translates to head of soup, while non-commissioned officers bore titles such as head water carrier, scullion, and master cook. In battle, the most heinous crime that could be committed by a Janissary was allowing their kazan, a type of symbolic cauldron, to be captured by the enemy. And if disenchanted, Janissaries could even declare an official mutiny by kicking their cooking pots over. This, of course, probably wouldn't happen today, since soldiers are far too preoccupied with stuffing their mouths full of processed goodness to make much of a fuss. As it turns out, they're not really that interested in biting the hand that feeds them.